Good morning, or good afternoon, friends, whatever the case may be. I'd like to do something just a little bit different than what I normally do. I'd like to give an impromptu speech about something that is very meaningful to me, and that is contentment. The music that I just played, uh, The Power of Love, reminds me of 39 years ago when I met my wife, Ann. I was dating her and I'd go over to her house and she would uh, turn on the music and I would sit there and just listen to easy listening music. I'll always remember that time. I always cherish those moments because I felt so content. And at that time, I really needed contentment in my life. My son and I were sitting out in the man cave one night, just chatting. Emmanuel said, Dad, you know, life is a journey. You need to enjoy the journey. <laughs> you know, Emmanuel was right. Life is a journey. Like traveling down a road. Sometimes there's curves in the road. Sometimes there's roadblocks along the way. Sometimes these curves and roadblocks slow us down. We're in one of those curves right now with the coronavirus. We've been slowed down, but we'll get around that curve. And we'll be able to pick back up some speed again before too long. Contentment. Contentment is so important in our life. Even the Apostle Paul knew how important contentment was, and I want to read Philippians 4, 12 and 13 to you, what he said about uh, contentment to the church at Philippi. And I want to talk about it in just a minute. In verses 12, Paul says, I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry. Whether living in plenty or in want, I can do everything through Him who gives me strength. Paul said that he had learned the secret to being content. First thing we need to realize is what situation Paul was in here. He was in Rome, he was in Rome in prison under house arrest and he was writing to these various letters to these various churches. Wow. I wonder if I was in prison if I could uh, do that myself. If I could be that content and that motivated like he was. He was in a dire situation. And he said that uh, there had been times in his life when he had plenty. And there had been times in his life when he had been in want. But he had learned to be content in any and every situation. I don't know if you've ever been in a situation like you've had plenty and when you've been in want, but I have. I remember one time in El Paso, Texas, when I served in the military and I lived off base. I had to make a lot of money and then I'd work in a mess hall in order to get the liver to take home at night. And I remember we ate a lot of meals of rice and liver and gravy. <laughs> but you know, I still like rice and liver. I didn't get burned out on it. But I cannot say that I was discontent because I wasn't. 
But you know, you can be content when you have very little as well as when you have a lot. And that's what Paul was saying. He was content. Whether he had a little bit or whether he had a whole bunch. Yeah, Ann and I have plenty right now. We have more than we need, but... And I'm content, but there's been times that I haven't had plenty, and I've been content then as well. One of the main things that I want to talk to you about, what Paul said, he said, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. You know, I think that's one of the most misused passages in the Bible, and I've misused it myself in different sermons that I've preached, and I won't do it again, because I have a better understanding of what it means than I did back then. Paul said, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. If you, if you use that literally to mean all things, that means that you can do whatever you want to do through Christ who gives you strength. Well, that's just not true. I want to give you an example of what I'm talking about. If I wanted to play in the Masters, I'd love to play golf. If I wanted to play in the Masters, I don't care how much I wanted to play, I'd, I'm not going to be playing in the Masters. I do good to shoot between 95 and 100, much less under par. I'm never going to do that. That's not what Paul's talking about here. We forget the context that Paul was in, and he's talking about himself. He's talking about himself, how he can do all things through Christ who gives him strength. He's talking about he can be content, and that's the subject matter he's talking about, his contentment and how content he was. Even, and even though he's in prison, he was content. And he said it could be that way and stay that way through God's help. We can make application of this. We're in a situation right now with coronavirus and we can be discontent or we can be content. My friends, I'm asking you to be content like Paul. And we can through God's help. That was my message for tonight or today. We can do all things through Christ who gives us strength when it comes to contentment. With his help, we'll get through this virus and we will be better off on the other side. We will have learned something and maybe we all will have learned if one thing that's important to every one of us and that is that we can be content when it comes right down to it. May God bless you and your family, and I hope you have a safe week. Ann and I send our love to you all. God bless. Them.